Good morning, day three here at Geo Week 2024. I'm excited because today I'm going to be doing a lot of different podcasts and interviews with a lot of great people. So um, you'll definitely have a chance to see my uh, conversations with people. Yesterday I didn't get to upload the presentation, so I did link it in the description. It is an unlisted video. So if you really want to watch it, you can. It's about 10 minutes long, 11 minutes long. So yeah, anyways, let's uh, have some more talks, see more people, and do some podcast episodes. Looking at this guy right here. <laughs> What's up, Tom? How you been? Good to you see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Tim, I went to college with uh, at Ferris State. We got a survey to you together. And Tom is your main survey contact at Pix4D. Good, nice Tim and Tom, I love it. Yeah. So I'm here with the CEO of Pix4D, and Christoph, please tell me about what new features are available on Pix4D Catch. Yeah, so we have uh, automatic target detection that allows you for indoor or also for outdoor to close loops automatically inside the app. So this is how it works. You can see here, I do a scan. I use the LiDAR from the phone. Detect is uh, detected. If I move around, we'll detect those tags. There is uh, 56 of those. They are detected in real time. And if we come back, Usually what is happening that, uh, you know, with the R kit you have drift. But using the tags, we can make sure that when we did the loop, that those um, drift is removed and uh, we don't have any double surfaces. And, uh, you know, this would be the model that is created uh, by using the tags without drift. So if you have larger project indoor, but also outdoor, um, this will help to uh, remove the drift from, uh, from the R kit. And so you can combine this also with RTK. You know, this is very useful when you are outdoor, you have RTK fix, you get into an area where you have, uh, you know, urban canyon scenarios, uh, you have fix again. You know, these tags will also help to overcome and uh, is an additional information to, you know, close loops and increase the accuracy from your uh, LiDAR data on the phone and from the images. So this is the new thing, you know, your phone becomes a surveying tool. Noah, nice to see you, man. Robbie, nice to see you. How are you doing? Good, good. Tell me a little bit more about what you guys are doing at Navis. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna start here with what you guys may know us more for, which is the Navis VLX3. This is a mobile LiDAR scanner. It uses SLAM in order to put together all of the data that we're capturing. That's going to be both high resolution panoramic imagery, 32 megapixels, as well as LiDAR data being collected at 1.28 million points a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take that data and upload it to the cloud. And that is the platform that you're seeing here. This is called Navis Ivion. So looking at Ivion, you'll notice we're in a photo right now, but we can easily move over to the point cloud just by clicking a button. We have some various options for our view configuration, so you can have it look exactly how you want it to. So as we just uh, move out of here a little bit, you can start to see the scale of just this one project here. And what's nice about this is that we're able to take this data and get line work performed. So curbs, uh, nice vertical faces here, and obviously anything that you're gonna need, we're gonna have in high resolution, five millimeter resolution, as well as a five millimeter accuracy, even for large projects like this. And of course, this is incredibly easy to share this. This is on the cloud, so all you have to do is share a URL to someone, and this data can be as private as you want, or it can be publicly available as well. Rather than send somebody all 25, 30 gigabytes of data, I can just go ahead and grab maybe the portion that is relevant to them. So Navis Ivion, really the goal here is we want to make capture easy, accurate, reliable, repeatable, and of course, make it just something that anybody can access. Your grandmother knows how to work Google Street View. She knows how to work Navis Ivion. Great. Great. Thanks for sharing with me. Thank you. We appreciate the visit. We 
at this guy. Look at this guy over here. Let's, let's get real focused here. Make sure we look good. Love the top of your head, Phil. <laughs> I gotta say, every event I think we need to do this. Yes. Last time we did it, we had not only your Hi, footage, my footage, but Eric fell. was on top of uh, BSU. Oh, he was doing the same thing? <laughs> I'm going like this, and then Eric sent it to me. He goes, who are you reprimanding? I was like, that is wrong. <laughs> and believe it or not, we were both like, oh, <laughs> I love that. So I'm at the Geoholics booth here with Kent and Sean. We're about to record an episode, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> We're back. We are back. We're back with one of our best friends ever. I mean, really close. close Geospatial hero. Yes. Is how he's being referred one to. One of my geospatial heroes. Indeed. Indeed. Mr. Rami Team, thank you for coming and joining us. For yeah, it's I a know you're a busy guy. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. I don't know about geospatial hero though. Hey, embrace it, my friend. Embrace it. Twenty-four hours later. Love seeing you. It's always coming. This is wow, well, guys. I love what you guys are doing you know I love having conversations with like-minded people and uh, keep it up I mean I, I think we all appreciate it yeah same to you you do the same man appreciate yeah. it guys. Take a geo hero that's right <laughs> for you I met up with some familiar faces to the internet hi everyone Hello. tell us who you guys all are and uh, how your experience was here so I'm Nolan Mark oh. I'm the uh, NSPS YSM incoming president uh, of the India. Hi guys, my name is Farah Echeverry. I am Arizona State's coordinator for Young Surveyors Network. And I am Rob, and I technically at this point would be the oldest young surveyor in Arizona <laughs> if she can convince me to go through with it. We're working on it. <laughs> well, we want more young people in the industry to have a place to find resources for studying and camaraderie in the industry. So the Young Surveyors Networks are really important for that, just meeting people um, and networking. Most importantly, probably bridging that gap between graduating college or getting involved as a technician to all the way up to licensure. we got to bridge that gap and make everybody involved. Uh, it could be intimidating for the young people to try to connect with the older people for mentors, so yeah. to have people who are similar in age and less of a gap to reach out to their peers is a lot easier to teach people mentor for that. Yeah, nice. absolutely. And how did you guys see the show? Did you guys enjoy Geo Week? Is this your first time here? Like, how was it? This first is time, first all time. of our first, first time here. No way! Yeah. We definitely enjoyed it. We sat in nice. on some great sessions, and of course, we loved the exhibit hall and all the fun new tech. So it's been a great time. Nice. No, I'm really glad you guys came out. It's a pleasure to meet all of you in person, and uh, yeah, we'll stay connected. So I'm uh, Jacopo Alaimo. Uh, I lead the team uh, of Xenomatics uh, in uh, North America with base in uh, Detroit. And I'm Philip Goins, I'm CEO of Xenomatics uh, based in Belgium. We are a company making uh, true solid state LiDAR. Our uh, true solid state uh, LiDAR is technology developed for uh, road mapping, so high accuracy, uh, survey grade, uh, uh, road digital twin. We combine uh, LiDAR with uh, camera. The two uh, sensors are fused together. One of the, our main application is for uh, uh, payment management. So a lot of municipalities, counties and DOTs use uh, this technology to uh, develop uh, their road maintenance plan, saving billions of dollars in all the United States. So these guys, I've been using their gimbal, I've been using their microphones, and above all that, I've been using their drones and their sensors for a long, long time. DJI, one of the most respected companies in the geospatial world. Run, right? Are you run? Hey, hey. Oh, how are you, my you friend? Give me a hug, give me a hug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Gonna, I was gonna wait till the last day, you know, best for last, right? <laughs> last, last. last traffic. Of Good course. Strategy. Yeah. We have 
kind of all our geospatial related product listed over here already. Uh, we have P1, obviously our L2. These two products manufactured by us, like we do a lot of optimization just for geospatial applications. Uh, but in addition, we also have these two cameras over there. And now they, these two cameras are from our ecosystem partners. Uh, the company's named Shield. Uh, share UAV and uh, they actually manufacture all the sensors, payloads for reality capture and digital twin purposes. Um, that one specifically, uh, the red one has a five cameras building. So it's capable of capturing five photos at a time from different angles. So as you fly in larger project, that's super efficient. And that's the 100 megapixel. Uh, mid-frame camera that is also used for general mapping and surveying. Obviously, we have our drone platforms over there, and now those drone platforms we have, the most popular ones will be the M350 platform, and the smaller one, which is Workhorse over there, Mavic 3 Enterprise. Now, these are two most famous the drones we have for people who like to use drones for geospatial purposes and gathering accuracy data. Both drones support RTK, and soft software and uh, everything is built into the remote controller. When you have a mission that you want to plan out, you can just do it directly and we don't charge extra fees. Nice. So coming over, over here, we have our dock system. This is our second generation dock and uh, it is super compact. It's about three feet by three feet, by three feet cubic, pretty much. And uh, it is our docking system for a new drone, what we call the Matrice 3D. We don't have the drone here, but the drone will land into the box and the box will close. Similar concept with our first generation, but this one will be more focusing on mapping and uh, inspection. And has an RTK building, has an RTK system. Once you have the dock installed and deployed, Every single photos you capture from the drone will be RTK centimeter level accurate. We use uh, wireless charging this time, so less connectors to mm -hmm. get corrupt corrupted. Um, over here is our wireless charging pad and charge your drones directly. And uh, when it opens up, it will power on the drone. I have the propeller, uh, propeller spinning and the drone will take off from there. And we're aiming to have this released uh, in Q2 this year. Nice, very yeah. good. Okay, I'm back at the RCN booth where we'll be doing a quick podcast episode with Matt Bird. I'm here on time. You are on time. I'm here early, and I'm so happy. Yeah, it's not normal for me, so yeah. don't don't get used to it. <laughs> uh, do you mind if we take a head check? Yes, let's do that. Uh, can we take your badge off? Yeah, yeah I guess. Is that okay? I guess that's fine. Sure. Lose some weight. <laughs> we got these, and I was like, our chairs from our conference suck now. Okay. These are these are way better. Oh. Oh. oh this is good. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Oh. Okay. Hey. I'm really comfortable. Dang. Yeah, just just lay back a little. Just having you in my ear <laughs> is the most <laughs> relaxing thing in the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Okay, all right, all right, okay, we can do this. Let's focus, we're professionals here. We're professionals. We're pro you're professionals. You're, you're, also, you're like a doctor, right? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> I will never be a doctor or anything, so. You're the doctor of your capture. Mm, that's kind of true, except just unofficial. Unofficial. Yeah. Everything's unofficial. <laughs> I'm unofficially a PhD. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. It works out perfect. This is great. Okay. Any questions before we start? I'm good. All right. One pair of pants later. All right. Thanks again for joining. Thanks for having me. Boom. Nice. All right. That's a wrap. Geo Week 2024. It's been amazing. I hope to be back here again next year for Geo Week 2025.